this is the, the Asia, um, um, the American Spinal um, uh, Institute Ameri Association uh, motor exam and sensory exam. This is the kind of exam that's carried out in, in all of the, the spinal injury patients. Uh, we can see all the, the dermatomes and muscle groups outlined um, in the total scores uh, that you would expect uh, from that. And based on that, um, the, um, the, um, there is a uh, Frankel um, class of Asia impairment scale that, that's given A, B, C, and D. And sometimes this can be very confusing. And it's probably easier just to deal with the, the beginning and the end. A is complete. That is, there is nothing preserved below a certain spinal cord injury. There is no sensation uh, preserved. There's no motor that's preserved, even including um, the sacral segments, the, the, the rectal uh, exam for sensory and motor. E is completely normal, full strength, full sensation everywhere. And then in between, it gets a little confusing. For B, an incomplete has sensory, but no motor function preserved below the neurologic level. This is kind of classic. If someone has a high um, or mid cervical injury, and they might have like a bicep that, that works or something, um, but nothing below that. And if they have no perirectal sensation, um, then that is the, the sacral elements, uh, S4 and S5, uh, then that's complete. If they do have sensation, it's incomplete. So sensory is, is preserved. And C is incomplete. That's motor function preserved below the neurologic level with greater than half the muscles having a muscle grade less than three. So still a pretty poor exam. And D can actually be, be quite good. Uh, it's a motor function preserved uh, below the neurologic level. Greater than half the muscles have a muscle grade greater than, than three. And this can even include something like, oh gosh, you're like a four and a five in your right wrist. And that, that's it, like a 99D. Um, on, on your exam or something like that. And so the initial evaluation and the overall recovery, not much has really changed over the years. Um, folks who present, uh, and this is post-resuscitation um, recovery um, uh, and, and assessment, that if they're an A and complete on assessment, um, really, 10% or less actually eventually recover the ability to ambulate in some, some way, shape, or form. And often this is with braces, kind of um, like those very stiff metal braces on their legs and things like that. And the, the B incompletes 33%. So that's a huge difference. And, and it's, um, it seems like a minor thing. Um, and, and quite honestly, the, the sensation, the perirectal sensation, the difference between that and an A, that's, that's really it. Um, there's a threefold increase uh, in the possibility of being able to, to ambulate over time. And this is assuming the best of care. Um, and C's, the incompletes, um, and about 75% D's, um, given that they're relatively minor, uh, overall, they generally do quite well. Um, and so, uh, just some, some classic landmarks that you guys I'm sure have heard about. T4 uh, sensory levels about at the nipple, the T10 um, is at the umbilicus. Hey everyone, Ryan Rad here from neurosurgerytraining.org. If you like that video, subscribe and donate to keep our content available for medical students across the world.